February 5, 2024, Ashburn, Virginia, USA, Washington Commanders Head Coach Dan Quinn, M, poses for a picture, Jeff Burke USA Today Sports. There is fresh air in the nation's capital. The Washington Commanders are keen on change after posting a 4-13 record en route to a bottom place finish in the NFC East a season ago. They hired Adam Peters as the franchise's new general manager. There is a fresh coaching staff in place and, overall, the Commanders have a new vibe in town. There's a winning way being brought to D.C. There's not only optimism because of the Commanders' change in leadership or coaching. It began with a strong free agency, followed by knocking the 2024 NFL draft out of the park and even bringing in solid undrafted free agents. I can't remember the last time there wasn't some fighting about a draft pick, or at least some griping behind each other's backs, a commander's source told Fox Sports' Ralph Vacchiano. Things sure feel different around here now. Read more, NFL Power Rankings, Washington Commanders QB Jaden Daniels' third best rookie. Feeling different is the best way to describe what's going on with the commanders, and that's a good thing. Following incompetence, things should be different. There's now a sense of confidence and direction with the franchise. Bringing in Jaden Daniels was huge for the commanders. They're confident in their rookie quarterback to be the one to turn things around in D.C. The team can now operate with confidence in building a contender around him. The commanders are returning the fewest players in the league. They've got a rookie under center. Cliff Kingsbury is taking over as offensive coordinator under Dan Quinn's first season as the head coach. I think we were really aggressive addressing those needs in free agency, Commander's Assistant General Manager Lance Newmark said. I've really never been a part of anything like that in terms of numbers and commitments. But I thought we got really good, really fast. The Houston Texans had an incredibly quick rebuild and turnaround. They went all in on building a contender this offseason. The commanders have the potential to emulate what worked for the Texans, and it starts with getting a solid quarterback on a rookie deal. Peters has taken over in Washington and has already proved to be the right choice as the team's next general manager. He's made sound moves that will make the team substantially better next year while maintaining flexibility for the future. The team will continue to improve year over year and it could be rapid. Read more, is there an answer for Commander's biggest remaining need in free agency? Those guys do seem re-energized, an NFC scout said of Washington to Vacchiano. Quinn went out of his way to really listen to them before the draft, from what they tell me. They didn't always get their way, but they seemed to really think, Peters, heard them too. They felt valued, which wasn't always the case there.